I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time, ain't doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time, ain't doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright What's up guys? Today we are at the Electrify Expo in Irvine, California and Super 73 had a booth. We kind of hung out there for a while and now we're doing a, a little 12 to 15 mile group ride. There's about 25 of us. Irvine's pretty flat. Well, at least this part of it. So we'll see, but should be fun. And we got Carlos with this cool purple shirt on. <laughs> Check out Carlos's channel. He just recently hit 300 subscribers. He's coming up. He's doing good. So today I thought we'd talk a little bit about these guys, the Ray-Ban Stories. And they're a pair of dark glasses. I got the Wayfair. Uh, the Wayfair model and they have two five megapixel cameras embedded in the glasses that can shoot uh, 30 second video clips with audio and you can get quite a few of them uh, I would say about 50 30 second clips or 200 photographs and uh, to get the photo you just push and hold the little button and to get the video you just push and release so they're pretty cool. I'm going to start to try to incorporate some of that into uh, some of my rides since I usually use a GoPro on my chest. What are you talking to? I'm fucking talking to my subscribers. Where's my, where's my sir on, buddy? Loser? He's not allowed to be here. <laughs> I'm take a hike, can <laughs> All e-bikes are welcome. Come on now. I want to live right here. Look at these houses. They're cool. What's going on? I don't... You have never done group rides before or what? Uh, should we just go? So I've noticed that the audio, uh, when I'm using the glasses, is kind of, it's pretty harsh on the wind noise. But other, otherwise, I think the video quality for having little tiny sensors in the glasses is pretty good. I'll have an Amazon link down in the description if you want to buy a pair. Uh, they're a bit, about the same price as normal Wayfairs would be. I, don't, I haven't actually bought a pair of Wayfairs in a while, but they're uh, $299. And it's the same dark glasses that you would normally buy, just happens to have a camera uh, embedded, which is uh, pretty cool. <laughs> just want to formally congratulate Tristan. He uh, has his new job at Super 73. Tristan uh, inspired me, he's one of the guys that inspired me to start making YouTube videos uh, on my bike, along with Dylan and Shreddy and a few other people. And now Tristan is actually working at Super 73 making content for them. So congratulations, Tristan, and uh, big things to come. So I just recently installed the uh, Blur Boundary Kid Pegs, as you see right down here. They're uh, boom, boom, and uh, they work great for my seven-year-old. But actually, yeah, I could just kind of chill like this too. It's like having front pegs. <laughs> Oh, there is hills in Irvine. Interesting. 
I've definitely never been over this area. This is cool. A little housing track. Let me know in the comments below if you're familiar with the Irvine area. It is where the headquarters for Super 73 is, but that's like more in like the, you know, center location. There's a lot of stuff around uh, the suburbs, the outside area. All right, so we're actually on Dylan Thompson's R. We switched bikes at the halfway point. We thought we'd uh, try it out. Got a little rear suspension and I got the street tires going on this thing. So I noticed the torquiness on this thing. It's definitely, uh, he was saying the R series, like the R, not the RX. Um, seems to be a little more torquey than, uh, than the RX or the S2, like off the line. And this is not with any kind of uh, special upgrades. This is just stock. But yeah, I can definitely feel it. It's not a huge difference, but it, it's there. He also relocated his speedometer <laughs> to here. Everybody's laughing at me because I'm riding Dylan's bike, but hey, you know what? It's fun to switch it up sometimes. His brakes are definitely nicer. It's definitely got a lot of squishiness, like uh, the rear suspension makes me feel like I'm just kind of floating. <laughs> Every time I ride an R or an RX, I think, huh, maybe I should get one. <laughs> what do you guys think? Comment down below. Should I buy an R? If I was gonna get an R or an RX, I would definitely get the R because I would change the headlight and I don't really need the, the fenders or anything that comes with anyways. So, let me know. Maybe I should get one. You like it? Yeah, it's just fast. It's fast? Yeah. That's what I thought about this. Yeah, that's fast off the line, but the top speed is fast. Ah. Did you try the uh, pegs? Yeah. And I have rear pegs. The rear ones are cool. One, two, three, go. How much do you weigh? You're on that incognito. <laughs> so if you guys have an R or an S2, or if you've ridden one or the other, let me know down below if you think one or the other is faster than the other. So we've come to the thought that the S2 is a higher top speed and the R is definitely faster off the line. You may not find the same findings, but uh, that's what we've come up to the conclusion of. <laughs> trying to kill people it's all for the content you're you're riding like <laughs> <laughs> october 16th there's gonna be another ride another race in apple valley speedway october 16th 2021 uh, as more details come out, I'll put them in my video. Uh, follow me at Chris underscore Super73 on Instagram. If you guys live in California or, I mean, I, I know that uh, Kelvin is coming out here from New York to come to that. He came last time too. 
basically you don't have to race you should race it's fun but it's just uh, we got the whole track to ourselves that day the community comes together we barbecue we have food we have drinks we have a good time and yeah it's apple valley speedway in apple valley california so from where i live in dana point it's about a two hour drive and um yeah it's a fun time i've been this will be my third time going uh and each time it's gotten a little bigger a little bigger but this time should be really awesome they always have shirts to give away and they give away all kinds of other merchandise so if you're available october 16th 2021 apple valley speedway come out for a good time damn look at this thing it's like a full-on motorcycle super 73 modified bike So it's an R down below, but then it's got all this cool stuff going on. Wow, that thing is ab absolutely dope. Let's do a mid, let's, let's swap while we're riding. <laughs> oh, that car is cool. That was a Mustang Mach-E. That's their uh, electric Mustang. It's like an SUV though. It's, a, it's like, they've never had an SUV for a Mustang before. It's a really cool car though. Alright guys, that's going to be the video. I know it's kind of a short one today, but uh, we just, we all wanted to meet up and get out on our bikes for a minute, so we did. Don't forget to check out the links down in the description below, and catch you guys on the next ride. Peace. Yeah, I am. Riding his bike. You stole Dylan's bike. No, I am Dylan. You stole Dylan's bike. That's my friend's bike. You don't even know him. He's that YouTuber. Oh wait, you're Shaman Films. Link in description.